you don't need to be the loudest megaphone or the brightest or have the brightest spotlight on you to be a truly authentic leader. You know, sometimes, and I've read a book by Susan Cain recently on called Quiet, as an introvert dyslexic person myself, and you know, not wanting to be standing up banging the drums. You, know, you mentioned the boot camp and you just see the, the quiet ones going about their business. The quiet ones just get on and do things. They do the routine, they put in the hard work. They're not there grunting and groaning and moaning and look at me, how, no. how big a weight can I push, Rob? Come on, keep up. You know, it's, those are the, those, that, that's what leadership looks like in, in my simple eyes, away from a corporate environment. But it's how you bring that authenticity and being allowed to bring that authenticity through. A great deal of my work is observing people, sitting in the boardroom and observing and shadowing him or her and seeing what they're doing in there, how they're talking, how they're reflecting, how they're, how they're being and how people are responding to that person. And I remember a lady recently, we sat around the boardroom and I sat in the corner and there was directors doing what they're there to do and doing a wonderful job. And she came away from the board meeting, she said, wasn't that great? Didn't I do well? I said, I'm glad you think that. Congratulations. Yet we'd sat in here in the global headquarters and, and what I had observed and seen and how you and I talk is a very different character that she was bringing into that boardroom. And I challenged her and I questioned her and I asked her, you know, why? Why am I seeing this human warmth, um, caring person that wants the best for a lot of things and a lot of good things? You're not using that in the boardroom and she hadn't seen it mm. you know she hadn't had that feedback from anyone who she trusted or relied into and sometimes having that those people that you can trust those people you can lean on around you to say hang on a minute you're doing yourself a disservice you're not giving yourself the opportunity to push that weight or to run up that hill you can do it mm. you know just give somebody that support to bring yeah, that out in them yeah, I've been reflecting a bit recently that uh, in business and possibly in other areas of life, but let's we're talking about business. Mm. Uh, we often, uh, I think, expect our chief executive or our directors, probably particularly the chair, to be leaders in some sense mm. and that's interpreted as being if you like the person with the megaphone in a metaphorical kind of sense and i wonder if that's not the wrong increasingly i wonder if that's not the wrong thing that we're expecting that for a business of any great size particularly to succeed uh, it needs a lot of leaders it needs a very decentralized group of people who can inspire and guide and sometimes control uh, uh, others uh, and that that's not necessarily best delivered by a leader at the top the person at the, t the people at the top might well be better to be a teacher or uh, an enabler mm. or an encourager than necessarily a leader and our model is very centralised, isn't it? Our business model is very centralised on, so. on leadership as being a top-down thing. Um, mm. And uh, rather than seeing what you need is more, and so the people who are in your top positions may not be your best leaders, and that may not matter. They might be uh, introvert dyslexics, mm. uh, who, but who nevertheless quietly walk around encouraging, enabling, opening doors, all that sort of thing. And pe sometimes the people who might be the best for our business are not what we call leaders. It's just a term that gets thrown around, isn't it, leader? Yeah. And, and, and unfortunately, it's what we, what we have. You know, you're seen as a leader, she's seen as a leader. And I always kind of question, throw that to one side, say, well, what is it you do? Mm. What is it you do? Um, and if people sit and it's all about one thing or another, I say, well, that's great, but who's helping you? Who's around you to support you? Um, who's going to enable you to, to be great? Or who's going to enable your business to succeed into the future?